For a good part of this day, temperatures were not all that bad. We actually hit 45 degrees for the high at BWI Marshall, which beats the normal high, and the normal high is even creeping up a little bit. Average high today, 42. Average high tomorrow will be about 43 degrees. So we're actually on that trend now where the normal temperatures start to climb a bit. And a mid 40 degree day here on uh, Groundhog's Day is not all that bad after a morning low of 32. Now, there is a wind advisory in effect covering almost the entire state. Only Garrett County not included in the wind advisory. But they still have some gusts out there to 30 miles an hour. But look how strong the winds are east of the mountains. That's why the advisory is up. Dulles Airport gusting to 45. Hagerstown a gust to 41. Easton gusting to 40. Patuxent Naval Air Station, Quantico all gusting in that 40 to 45 to 48 mile an hour range. Some of the airports down here in Northern Virginia earlier today were clocking wind gusts in the low 50. So it is windy and it'll be that way for the next three to six hours or so. I think once we get a little bit past midnight, things will start to quiet down a touch, but a gusty wind expected for most of the night, which means temperatures in the teens in the mountains now, 20s in our northern suburbs feel a lot colder when that wind blows your body heat right away from you. Your skin feels like it's 13 degrees up at Parkton at this hour and five below zero at Oakland. Current wind chill at BWI Marshall, 17 degrees. Now, if you saw a flurry pass by earlier, that'll pretty much be done. High pressure is building in tonight with mostly clear skies. 15 to 20 actual air temperatures, but feeling like sub-zero readings late tonight, thanks to those northwest winds at 10 to 20, with an occasional gust to 30 miles an hour. But with high pressure coming in, we do expect to see quite a bit of sunshine tomorrow. The storm that uh, passed us to the north last night, still putting down snow in Boston. Three feet of snow in the western suburbs of Boston, and more coming down now with temperatures around 10. Just brutal winter up there so far. This high pressure cell, though, brings us some sunshine for the day tomorrow, but it will be chilly, just not as windy as today, thankfully. Maybe a flurry or two in the morning out western Maryland, but a lot of sun through the afternoon, clear skies into tomorrow evening. Another clipper passing by north of us heads for New England with more snow on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we see a front coming in. Temperatures Thursday will probably be falling during the day as this front moves through in the morning. And it does look like there's going to be a period of light snow in our area on the I-95 corridor sometime Thursday morning. So we may have a light accumulation complicating the Thursday morning rush hour. And then skies clear, gusty winds return, and the temperatures, for the most part, stay chilly. 27 to 32 tomorrow. The normal is 43, so we'll be below that. But look at that. The wind's down to 6 to 12 miles an hour. So I think a, a much more tolerable day tomorrow as far as the winds go. 25 in the mountains tomorrow. Some sun and 37 on Wednesday. On the eastern shore, especially the upper eastern shore, a little bit of cloud cover tomorrow, then some sun, 33, and a little bit of a warm up Wednesday before the next cold front comes through toward the end of the week. 34 at Ocean City tomorrow, mid 40s on Wednesday, which is actually about normal now. Temperatures only below freezing tomorrow after teens in the morning, but at least we'll see some sun and it won't be as windy.